really should matter how much you're selling it for. Because they're trying... they already made their money on it. Why? I don't understand why it really should matter how much you're selling it for. Now, well, it, it's funny you should... I mean, the, see, the, the, George, they're on to us! Let's get out of here. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Um, Nick, this is the new me. <clears throat> I'm all about zen, peace, happiness, and getting along. What? That's new. That's new, yeah. Well, you know what, Nick? I'm, I'm very at peace with myself today because, like, I went to the chiropractor, got adjusted, and I feel fantastic. You ever go to the chiropractor? Yeah. Frank, you? No. Oh, you don't, because you know why? Because Frankie's dad's a, a physical therapist, and they shun... The, the peace and harmony part of uh, that. But anyway, what do you guys want to do today? Want to talk tools? You want to talk about my beautiful bonsai tree? I think we should close up the shop and go to the bar. That's an option too. They're definitely open. Yeah. That's an option too. That's a, that's a great idea. I got, listen, I'm going to a sake party. I don't know if you've ever been to a sake party. Do you bring, do you, do you, do, should I bring it? I mean, it's nah, I think you'd probably just leave all it, the, the it's, cultural It's full circle. Stuff at home and just drink the sake. I don't know. You don't know, if you don't know the people at the party that I would leave, you know, just come as you are kind of thing. Hmm. I'm going to Google that and see if maybe i got to get like a robe. Yeah, no, I don't think you do that. A robe? You sure? Yeah. All right. So. A kimono, right? Kimono? Kimono, Guys, kimono, yeah. Welcome to another episode of JDTV Co. The Peaceful Edition. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this with your friends. Okay, what do you want to talk about first? Because I'm just going to talk about tools. I'm going to leave all the drama out of the tool world. That's funny because I see an eyesore on the table. Which one? Oh. Grip. Grip edge? Grip edge. Listen, I would stop selling it if they would stop sending it to me. Yeah, we just got a pallet of it in yesterday and we have more coming. I don't know who keeps sending it, but. Well, it's the Ixnay on the place down south, A, eh, who's trying to make some money, A. Eh? MT. I forget the other name. Oh, the mobile... Yeah, clown show. <laughs> mobile... Sorry, guys, listen. I, keep sending it. We'll keep on buying it. Yeah, I, I, it. I, it, what it, it is what it is. But, uh, and listen, nothing for nothing. I, I think after hearing all those stories about a certain individual who runs that company, all the shady stuff he's done, yeah, I, think, I don't think I want to sell it. I think, yeah. yeah I don't want to sell it because, like, I have standards. And this guy... Has none. I'm not going to mention his name. But, like, he's got no standards. I heard what he did. And I, I, might, be t I, might, I might start telling a story to you guys. If you want to hear it, leave it in the comments below if you want to hear about the dirt, the dirt in the industry. I've been selling, I guess these are the two most popular part numbers, I would think. Yeah. Right? And this one is, and we're Jersey Discount Tool, right? And we give you the D. These for what? Discount. discount. Okay. So you're not going to find anywhere cheaper in the world because I am not, I am not powered by greed and I like to give back to the hardworking guys out there, the blue collar guys. Yeah, I was just thinking this morning maybe we should drop the price even more. Really? But that's not fair to the guys that have already bought it. So we'll keep it. I mean, we're still significantly cheaper than Grip Edge or anyone well, else. Well, they're, it, so. they're, yeah, well, they're definitely overpriced. So this is the full torque system. And this is uh, discounted to how much? Uh, that's 129 129 We have the uh, Grip Edge drill and extract system and this is 209 yes what's full list price on this i have no idea expensive though probably 50 to 80 dollars more why would you why would you buy this anywhere else than from jd tico corporate greed corporate greed why would you why would you give somebody an extra 50 dollars that's a half a bag of groceries these days mm. I, don't know. I don't i don't get it because if they're going through the three tier distribution system you know, from their company to a warehouse distributor, and then the warehouse distributor to the distributor. Why, I don't understand why it really should matter how much you're selling it for. Because they're trying- they already made their money on it. Why, I don't understand why it really should matter how much you're selling it for. Now, uh, well, it, it's funny you should, I mean, the, see the, the, George, they're onto us. Let's get out of here. Well, because they're trying to inflate their prices because they're literally selling the same product 
to Mac Tools and I think Cornwell or which other company, uh, Corn, uh, Maco, I think they're selling the same product to all these clowns now. So they, they have to inflate the price so they can justify because all they're doing is changing the color of the packaging in a little zip zip ring around there. So that's why they're doing it. I, I know why you're doing it, but it doesn't matter. We're still, and listen, Rip Edge, shout out to you. If you want me to stop selling your stuff, come to the store, write a check, and buy the stuff back from me. Full this price. Full this price. Full this price. So if that's what you if you want me to stop selling your stuff, you know, write a check. Right? Write a check. Yeah. All right. Enough grippage because I, I I hate and this is a, this one I we pack a lot of these too the uh, metric hex. Yeah, the three H drive seven piece metric hex eighty five dollars. I'm sure if you bought it somewhere else it'd be an extra thirty bucks. I think their a full price is a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Which I mean a hundred dollars for I think I think eighty. That's a lot of money. But listen. Expensive. Get it out of my store because the next bigger, hang on, I see a dry leaf. The next bigger, batter thing will be on the way and I want to, you know, move on. All right. I think organization is the new shiny object in the room. Hmm. Organization, I think, right now, is the new shiny object in a room. I don't know where I heard that from. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's funny because I, I can't get too into detail but, like, it's the biggest part of the industry right now. It, it's insane. And I, I, do you know why, in my opinion? Why? Because, like, this has to get done through a forge and foundry and pack. This is plastic extruded molding. It's like... And you're able to make that in America. And you're able to make this made in America? Yeah. Stop. Lifetime guarantee? I don't see any made in America on here, Nick. Are you sure? I don't want you trouble. I don't want no trouble, Nick. I don't want no trouble. I don't know. I don't see it jumping out at me, so. And it, oh, I'm sorry. This is probably made in the USA. You know, it's it's probably made in the USA with the little American flag on there. This one too? I don't it's see it. I don't know. Listen, let's not put the horse, the, the carriage in front of the horse. There's another company out there, and I'm not going to talk about them because it, I, I'm tired of fighting and arguing with people, but it's a toolbox gizmo type thing. It's flooding social media like crazy, and I was never a big fan of it. Uh, the quality wasn't really what I was thinking it should be back in the day. I don't know if they changed it because I, I don't have any... You know, I don't, I don't, I have no desire to try it. Wait, excuse me real quick. Their uh, Instagram bio says, since 1981, we've invented and produced a premium line of tool organization products, all 100% made in the USA and backed with a lifetime guarantee. You know what that is? The mic drop. That's the mic drop. So yeah, we, we've hooked up with these people out at SEMA because when people, listen, there's two kinds of people that go to SEMA. Businessmen or clowns. Clowns that are busy partying and hooking up with shirts and dancing with, with, with strange girls at the bar, shit like that. Me, I'm over there working. Yeah, you know, when we go to SEMA, you know, we should probably shoot like more content and stuff, but it's so hard. And, you know, we're yeah. working. We can't really. Yeah, you it's, know. It's, it, yeah. Maybe, maybe next year Frank will go with us. Yeah. What do you think, Frankie? Yeah. You like SEMA? Oh, I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, question. this is a great product, and we've been selling. We we finally got the line in, and we've been selling it like crazy. Oh yeah. And you know, they make a plier rack. Nobody makes a good plier rack. Wrench rack, fully interchangeable, modular. And it has little stickers in it, so you can. And it's got label. little stickers in there, so you can label all your sizes. Okay. So available where Nick? App, website, store. <laughs> That's called a three-pronged attack for you guys that are playing at home. Okay, and they get it, green, red, and we were out at SEMA. I, I don't, I, I might be wrong, but you know me. This, I, this half the show's fiction anyway. I think it's owned by a lady, a woman. Yeah, I think it's a husband and wife. Husband and wife, and That's she was cool. at SEMA, and she was super, super. I wish I remembered her name, but I Vicky. can't remember what is it. Vicky. Vicky, I got a mind like a tra steel trap, <laughs> but she was delightful, right? Delightful. Yes. And thank you, Vicky, for taking the time out and setting up an account and like. Don't look at that. 
Look at that. That's for a big toolbox. That's for a big toolbox. Okay. Did I tell you about the patent I'm getting? I don't think we should talk about that. Oh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's funny. It, it's funny. It, uh, I can't wait to see this whole thing play out. But back to the organizational thing. You know, we're, we did a little survey yesterday. We asked a couple of our friends about, you know, how much do you spend on organization? You know, organization, uh, could you see? What, yeah, that's all our Easy Red section. And we've done many videos on Easy Red's uh, organization stuff. And it's a big part of their, their, their market. And... You know, this stuff's not cheap, but like at the end of the day, if you look at the, an average toolbox that somebody has, and like, you know, we were talking to Texas Tools, right? Texas Tool Guy. Texas Tool Guy. Very good guy. And uh, this toolbox is very neat. And very neat organized. And he, and I said to, we're, you know, we're, we're working on a very big project. And I said to him, said to my son, I go, ask him how much money he has in his top drawer in organizational stuff. And he's like, ah, you know, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. And I'm like, mm, that's more than a couple hundred bucks, bud. <laughs> so he's like, let me add it up for you. And he came back with a number like, Jesus. And he's, he's very good. And I, he's very good because you can ask him, and Nick talks to him all the time, a question. And, like, he'll get back to you in 30 seconds. You know, most, it, of the, most of the, the guys, you know, the tool guys on there that, you know, respect us will get yeah. back to us, too. But he's very good. Him, C CP, CP, I had a question for CP the other day. You know, CP, CP gets takes, back to you. He takes like 15 seconds, <laughs> <laughs> which I like. I'm still waiting for uh, Mr. Subaru to get back to me because he owes me a... Because he, he's supposed to match the funds I donated in his name to the Italian, com the Italian community. Maybe we'll do it again. We should do another fundraiser. I'll do another, I'll do another fundraiser. Like you think I'm going to do another one? Hey, guys. These right here are the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. If some of you, I don't know if some of you remember, I bought a storage locker out last week and had a lot of Maco tools in it. And this, we had, we had a case of these. This is the last one we have. Yes. So don't buy it because they're sold out. By the time you see this video, that last one will be gone. But they had these too. And I thought these were kind of funky. And it's Mac, Maco and it's a magnetic stash tray. What's nice about this is what I did a video on TikTok. Oh no, locked out again? Oh wait, forgot I put these here. Thank God for these mag jars. Never get locked out again. And use it to store nuts and bolts, or whatever things you need to stash. Wink wink. And say you walk into your shop, you forget your tool box keys, you forget your wallet, you forget your money, you forget your cash, you forget your uh, cigarettes. Your cigarettes. What? Cigarettes. <laughs> you can get this, put it to the bottom of your toolbox, nobody's gonna know it's there. Walk in, oh, where's my keys? Pull it out. Boom, bam, done. That's genius. And we've seen these online. I had no idea they even made these, but the storage locker was full of these things. And they're $43.95 for two. The Maco ones. The Maco ones. So what I did is I said, let me give my guys a deal. And I said, let me give my guys two for how much, Nick? 25 That's a deal. That's a discount. Because we're Jersey Discount Tool. So this is a fun little idea to have. And you know what? Uh, O-rings, cotter pins, nuts, bolts, 10 millimeters. Load it up, put it on the bottom of your tool cart. Put it in your hutch. Put it anywhere you want. But it's, it's a great spot for loose, small tools or stash, whatever you want. We should get a sticker made for it. What do you think? I don't know if we have enough. <laughs> have you been to the storage locker? <laughs> It's a big storage locker. I paid a lot of money for it. Well, it's macro stuff. It's the best. Yes. Well, clearly. Okay. All right. Altel. This is the new one. This is the MX900. No, it's not. I got the wrong one. Oh! I was going to talk about... You know what? Altel. 
This is the MS906 Pro, right? That's correct. Huh? Huh? I, I said it without even looking at it. It's pretty genius. When it comes to a scanner, everybody wants a scanner that'll do everything. Nick, I want a scanner that's going to launch the space shuttle. Well, that's fine. We could sell you whatever you want. But it always comes down to one thing when it comes to scanners. What is it, Nick? Price. Price. Is it bidirectional? Starts with a B. Is what's your budget? What's your budget? So price. Same well, what's your budget? Because the, the the budget dicta dictates the price you're willing to spend. So it always comes down to what's your budget. So if you want to launch the space shuttle, it may cost you a little more than a eighty nine dollar code reader. Correct? Yeah. And we'll put we'll post we'll post a hundred dollar scanner. Will this cut keys? Will this uh? Will this you know? Will this reset my passcode for the nuclear missiles? No. It's a $99 scanner. Will it turn off your check and your light? Yeah. Will it come back on? If you don't fix the problem? Yeah. I mean, it, there's no miracle scanner, right? Is it bi-directional? It's a $100 scanner. But this is an MX906 Pro, and this is the next level of diagnostics, and this is bi-directional, and this will do most of the stuff you want it to do. Will it launch the space shuttle? I don't think so. <clears throat> Well, will it work on the Lamborghini in your driveway? I know the Ultra does. This probably does too. If you have a Lamborghini. Me, I don't. It's a nice cup, isn't it? They gave it to me last week. Huh? Huh? <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> Anyway, this is a very good scanner. This is going to do 98% of everything that comes in your shop's door, and it's only $13.50, right? Sure. It is. Yeah. I put the price on it. Okay. Good deal. The White House is Cheapest in the world. <laughs> well, because, guess oh, shit. well, because, Nick, because that's why you're here. You're the guy, you're the voice of reason. You have to reel me in at times. $13.50 seems. Fun. Yeah, I only have a couple of these. They didn't have many. So. If you need a really good scanner that does a lot, 1350 is your budget. This is what you need. We sold it. We had we had the ultra sitting there for a couple weeks. That 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 left the building the other day, right? No, yeah. What state did that go to? New Jersey. Really? Mm -hmm. Nice. It's funny. We we'll always have we try to always have an ultra in the store and the tool truck, and they're not cheap. It's you know it's a four thousand dollar, five thousand dollar, depending on where you know who's buying it. I say that, Bill. So if it just sits there, I, every time I walk by, it's you know four thousand dollars drives me a little crazy. So you know, and when, when we but sell then when one, you sell one if someone wants one. As soon as we sell one, somebody wants one, so we'll get a, we'll, you know, we get two more, one for the store, one for the truck. And right now we are ultra list. We had two last week, one in the truck, sold, one in the store, sold. Okay, guys. Every once in a while, we get too many tools in, and. Sometimes they come here via a different direction and the price is significantly less. I have a stack of these in the back. I'd walk back there, Frankie, but I don't want to see I don't want to see you get winded like the last time we did the, st the store tour. But I have a stack that's taller. What are you looking at? Me like that? What are you looking at? I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at are you doing the, Are you doing an iconic other camera steer? Fourth wall break. Yeah. yeah that, that's what. What is it? The fourth wall break. <laughs> So Nick, what are these on on, on the app for right now? Do you know? Two nineteen. Well, I'm gonna significantly lower that price. I, I think you you might be like, no, but I'm gonna do it anyway. And if you want to know the price of this, check the app, check the website. I want to put it in the clearance section because. Wow. Did you see the stack back there? Yeah, I think it's, it's insane. Taller it's taller. It's taller to me. <laughs> I I got this one. I'm like. Hey, did you see on TikTok some guy said, what are you, like 5'7 or something? <laughs> five, <five>, <laughs> guy's like, what guy. are you, 5'7? And I'm like, Jesus, do I look that short? I'm, 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 listen, am I six foot? No, I'm 5'11 and a half. I'm this, <laughs> this much up six foot. Does the camera make me look short? Could you imagine? And I'm saying to myself, hang on, speaking of TikTok, it was funny. I, I, I hate rambling, but. I'm on TikTok the other day, right? And I, I, I did a whatever post. It was, it was for the Milwaukee Insider back in the day. And this guy starts like, he goes, he goes, you, he goes, you would be nowhere 
to me, I'm 58 years old. He goes, you wouldn't be nowhere without your daddy's money. You inherited the tool business. <laughs> he goes, me? He goes, I got mine the hard way. I, I, no, no, no handouts. I got mine. I work for all mine. And now I'm like, I click on his profile. He's driving like a 2008 Toyota with a CD player and a dash still. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and, I'm, and, and, and my mind's like this. And, and I'm like, how do I even answer that? I mean, like, Real quick fact check, I, my dad died at 16 years old when I was 16, okay? Great man, but I, he left me when I was 16. And uh, uh, I had a, you know, growing up wasn't a lot easy, easy for my mother at times. You know, she was basically a single mother raising two kids. So there was never any inheritance or any handouts. I, I, I dropped out of high school because I didn't like school and I, went, and I started working as a mechanic at a truck shop. And, you know, was enamored, enamored? Enamored? What's the word? I think so. That's it. Enamored? Yeah. By the tool trucks that came in. They had a Mac tool truck, a Snap-on tool truck. And I said, I don't like this business. I think I could really do this for the rest of my life. You know, I mean, out of my mind. That I was, they should have shot me. I was 18 at the time, probably. So anyway, I got a tool truck at 19 years old. And it only cost me $4,000 to put my ass in a, driver, a driver's seat of a tool truck back then. 1985. What's it now? Oh, 40, it's, it's, I think 40,000. Guys, like, for $4,500 out of pocket, I was in the tool business at 19 years old. So if that's a handout, an inheritance, you tell me. I, I, I had to borrow money from my mother and I did pay her back. You've heard that story a million times, right? Yeah. <laughs> I paid for my sister's wedding. <laughs> Oh, listen, uh, no, listen, I don't want to bore you guys with my, my life, because everybody looks at me and they're like, oh, you know, he's got everything. I worked for it all. Nobody ever gave me a goddamn thing. It's a Porsche. <laughs> they gave you that cup. It's a Porsche. <laughs> <laughs> I, I lied. I, I was at the dealership last week, and they gave me this cup. <laughs> well, well, it wasn't exactly a gift, because there was some money, to there was some money that changed hands. Like the free Snap-on jacket. Oh my yeah, the, ja hey, the Snap-on jacket wasn't free, and neither was the cup. But I got myself on a list. Okay, guys, the listen. Cup to me. List? The cup list. <laughs> another cup. <laughs> I should do. Listen, I should do. You want to hear? Should I do a video about the whole Porsche experience? I should do a video on it. It's pretty funny. Okay, guys. <laughs> hey, listen. I was doing really good. I talked all. Oh, hang on, one more. But listen, I'm gonna blow these out because I. I, I I need room. The back room is full. The last time you've seen it, it's got two pallets in since. So we need to get rid of some of these tools that are taking up space. And these things are are taking up space. That and the Milwaukee kits, the two battery kits. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow them out today too. So guys, clearance section, clearance section, clearance section. It's gonna be for the weekend only. I gotta get rid of some inventory. Listen, guys. I know we all like to have a pretty girl on our on our arm, okay? But she's probably not good in bed. So when you have a screwdriver set and your draw, you have a draw. When you have your screwdriver draw, you maybe you should have a nice set of screwdrivers, like the Snap-on Mega Set Piece, made in whatever, and it costs you five hundred dollars. But don't use them. You know why? Or the Maca ones that are made in Germany by Wit, Wit, Vita. Don't use them because it's like the pretty girl. They're useless. It looks good, but they don't work good. The best screwdrivers in the world are Vessel. Made in Japan, okay? Made in Japan. I'm not even gonna say what they're made out of because I always say it. Very Japanese vibe here today. But this set of screwdriver we have on sale for $66. Eight piece set. This is the only screwdriver set you'll ever need. Guys, they're JIS. This is what your car wants you to use on it. Not regular Phillips. Phillips does not work. Well, it depends on the car. A Phillips head screwdriver is designed to cam out at 35 foot-pounds of torque because it was designed for the production industry. Okay? So when you're using a Phillips head screwdriver and you're turning more than 35 pounds, it wants to cam out because that's how it's designed. JAS will stay engaged the whole time. This is not a paid sponsorship. <laughs> That was a lot of information there, damn. I've been doing this for 40 years, Frankie. I am the godfather of the tool industry. Anybody can go out there and pretend they know what they're talking about, but they don't. If I didn't say it first, it never happened. If you're on a budget, this is $40, $45. This is the Armor Grips set. This is a great set of screwdrivers. And for the bang for your buck, 
different construction, made a little, little to save you a few, few dollars. They're but again, made in Thailand, actually. You mean Thailand? Thailand. I thought they were in Taiwan. Thailand. These are currently made in Thailand. These may made. They may be made in Taiwan though. No, I think they're always made in Thailand. I think uh, you're I think gonna you lose, lose that bet. Oh, really? You think so? Yeah. This is my personal favorite set. This is the multi set. This is ninety seven dollars. I know that's a lot of money for something that is gonna last you forever and you're gonna use it every day. I know the five hundred dollars set of snap on screwdrivers in your drawer. That means nothing because the guy comes by and tells you he's your friend, right? This is a multi-set green, regular screwdriver, red, full through tang, hit it with a hammer, and gray signifies it's indexing. Hit it with a hammer, index is 12 degrees. Think about how much time and money and aggravation is gonna save you when a Honda, Toyota comes in for a brake job and you can't get them bolts off. I know, they're not that tight, guys, but you know what the problem is? It's a JS fastener. Guys. I'm gonna wind this down, and I'm, I, did I tell you I have a partnership going with the, with the, with the Mr. Subaru? No, what is it? Yeah, we have a deal now. So if you, if you go on MrSubaruTools.com, mm -hmm. check out the link. What do you think? Yeah. I think we're friends now. In fact, do the, do the handshake emoji thing. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <sighs> Guys, remember, peace and love. Stay for the show. That you want the Frankie? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm waiting for. <laughs>